gone back from our trip. We've gotten almost a full row in our uh, chest, which is nine slots, nine stacks. So almost nine stacks of terracotta. Uh, and then we got a bit of dyed terracotta because they've got a bit of that there on two on the hills. So that's three stacks of red and half a stack of orange terracotta. So that should be able to help us out a tiny bit in our project over here. So to get the mud bricks together, we need some wheat and some of our mud that we made before. There we go. So we'll go and make one stack of this. But now, kind of add this to our build. All right, just for the contrast, we're going to need some purple terracotta down there. Because uh, if we look at a color wheel, we can see that the yellow, so like our woods and everything, is across from purple. That will allow us to have high contrast and draw attention to the doorway. Right. That's something we really want since that is the main part of our build right here right we can also circle anything else that we want the attention to focus to so like windows or anything like that we can also use purple so you want to just put this back here see what we can do with this Kind of just look to see how it'll look. Now I'm thinking we go darker back here. So I don't think that'll work. All right, I think coming back to it with the actual purple terracotta will be give us a bit of a better look onto how we want to stage this. We need to find either a flower forest for the red dye or a plains bomb. gotten back all the way to our base i have collected the red rose bushes as well as our lapis so if we take one thing of dirt and then a bit of bone meal wherever i put that oh yeah it's in here so we got our bone meal we pull out our dirt, put that on there. Now for every single bone meal, we'll get a rose bush. That way we don't need to try to uh, collect too many flowers. So I've now added that little layer right there to split apart the bottom and the top. That way we can have one color here and another color there while we're still keeping the purple to apply the contrast between the orangey red yellow of the 
uh, wood and bricks. Okay. So now that we've done that, I need to work on adding the actual color behind that, right? So what I think be nice is like a bit of a softer color that has a bit of a darker tone. All right, we want something that looks a bit more in line with our blackish blue. So if we go back to our color wheel, we can see that the purplish, we are at the darker blue, so that'd be more yellowish, yellow orange. So maybe we want to work with something a bit different than that, since we've already got the yellow, yellow orange. I think I'll use this on the top of it, all the way up here. So just put that up there. Now we got something like that. Uh, I don't like how it's a sharp line between the two. Rather not have something like that. So instead of doing that, I think I'm gonna do something more like this. Put our stairs down here. That works. And then instead of having our lighter block on the bottom, we're going to switch that out and have our lighter block on the top. Switching out all three of these. This. Might have to change that up a bit later. But overall, that looks decent. So then for the bottom, I think we need to use another new color. I don't want to use anything that pops out too much, right? I want to continue to use colors that we've already kind of have in the build. So we could put some mangrove logs in there, have it a bit darker, just like that. I think it looks too woody though. This uh, front, until we actually do the bottom right over here. So this time I've made a bit of cyan terracotta. As you can see, it's not very cyan compared to like, the item, but it's actually more gray. Just thinking that we could actually mix it in with some other stone. I right, might match up a bit better to that, but I'm not sure anymore because it has the same texture, right? We want different textures in our build, so give it a bit of variation. But this does not give that us that kind of texture that we want. So I'm gonna have to think on that one. But for now, I'll go and decorate the top, and I'll get back to you guys after that. So I finished all the leaves, as you can see up here, we got the spruce leaves in and the birch leaves in. 
just to add a little bit of variation. It's not the exact same thing, right? I've tried to add a bit of something down here, but I'm not sure if I like it that much. It looks a bit too gray. Uh, but that is, of course, without our vines in. So maybe if I add our vines. Look a bit better. But I don't see it. It. Yeah, it's, it's not the best. Definitely gonna have to change the bottom here. But for the top, I think the top is done. Unless if we wanna add a little window where that birch leaf is, the one all the way up there, right in the middle. I think, you should leave it at that for now, though. On to some more progression-related items, and further into the game kind of thing, so we can get more resources. I wanted to go and get some more farmers, so we can go and trade our melons and pumpkins away. So when we have a pumpkin farm and melon farm somewhere over here, maybe inside of one of these buildings, we can then just immediately trade it to these guys. I'd also like to get some more uh, toolsmiths and some uh, weaponsmiths, armorsmiths, so then we can get all of our gear kitted out. Because right now we're on full iron, and the only diamond tools we have is the pickaxe and the shovel. So going back to our villages over here, so we'll just grab our rails out again, build all the way back over here. This time it's a bit more dangerous, but we should be fine. all maxed out we've got the all the way down to the enchanted crossbow we got the trades that we wanted actually we got the string and the feather <clears throat> that means we can trade away our feathers from our uh, chickens over there that we kill and we can turn that into emeralds our second toolsmith I've gotten all the way down to expert uh, so we still can unlock pickaxe I believe it is at the bottom but we did get the axe so that's good and a better shovel I think yeah better shovel so that's also good doing good on that department I also have been growing our tree farm while I sold a ton of sticks and stuff like that but that's about it um, so I think we're going to move back over here, back to our house. I don't know if I have any clay. Oh, we do. Just take eight. So I think we want a bit of a staircase right here. Maybe that's a bit tight on that side. So a little staircase out here. Maybe we could have a little pond. So then when you walk over here, it leads onto a bridge. You go up onto the pond.
So I finished the house and the stairs with the waterfall. No, obviously it isn't done. Uh, kind of missing everything but the front. Uh, but I've added these little posts with here with the little spruce chap doors on top. These chap doors were the ones that fit the most. They kind of jar your eye upwards anyway, right? Because we don't want the darkest on top because it'd make your eye go a bit further down trying to find the brightest spot, right? Uh, but then we have that, right? Go up here and then we plan to have a little entrance here, maybe a staircase all the way up curved so we can get on top with the upper floor, maybe something up here even. Maybe just end it here and have a staircase inside, which brings you to the top where we can have a little bridge going over top or something like that. Um, now I've chosen to use this rather than a mangrove log because it looks less thick, right? Looks, it, it just allows you to see through it from further away. It doesn't draw too much attention to itself, right? For example, if we put that there, looks a bit too bright, right? looks too thick, looks like it's not supposed to be there. Then if we put that instead, more thin, looks like it's supposed to be there. Then for the wall, I've added a bit of moss just to make it look a bit better for now. Kind of makes your eye rest right in the middle there. Just because that is the brighter spot. Right up there and up there and down there is right where you, you know, look the most. Which is good. Then if we go all the way up here, we've got the archway. Added the bit of the gradient in here. Go up here. Obviously the starting of our old stuff. So yeah, looks pretty nice. Added a bit of these grass, little things everywhere. Make it look a bit better. So anyway, that's where I think I'm gonna leave the video for today. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. And I'll see you next time.